Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video that's a bit different from the videos I have been doing. This one is a Primark haul on makeup and I'm going to test the makeup as I like show you it. I have never used Primark makeup before. It's really really cheap so I wanted to try it and I thought I might as well do a video while I, I couldn't find a contour or even a normal bronzer so I'm using my sleek contour palette and the woman didn't put the mascara in the bag I can't find my receipt so I don't know if I paid for it but it's definitely not in my bag so I'm gonna have to use my mascara which is a Clarins mascara so not exactly budget so we're gonna have to work with that okay so <laughs> I'm really nervous I'm gonna start with the foundation. This is the My Perfect Color Perfect Finish Foundation Medium Coverage. That seemed to be the fullest coverage foundation they had. I like a liquid foundation, so I thought I'd try this one. But they did not have testers. So I don't know. This is in the color Vanilla. It's really hard to tell the colors, but this seemed to be the closest one. Ooh. That didn't start well, did it? Ugh. It's really hard to get the little seal off. Okay, I should have shook it first. Let's go. I'm gonna put all the makeup on how I would normally put my normal makeup on so I can actually tell what it's like. Okay. Texture's not bad. I was expecting it to be a bit runny. I've got a mirror here, so I'm gonna I'll try and use the camera as much as I can. Oh, I don't know, it looks a bit pink. I can just imagine someone's gonna knock on my door right now. I'm gonna use my beauty, my really gross beauty blender. Just to try and, oh, it's really pale. Oh man. I thought it might be a bit, oh my God, that's so pale. I have to warm myself up. I was worried it was like, I was gonna end up with one that was too dark, but the opposite. So if you're a pale skin girl, Primark might be the place to go because this was not the palest one they did. And I'm not like dark complexion. So I'm usually like three or four up from pale unless it's rimmel then I'm only two up from pale so I think this was like this was well up on the scale so they had loads that were paler than this one okay I'm gonna have to just take a little bit down I will say the coverage is not bad. It's not as much as one I would normally use. But it is clinging to my pores. I don't know if you can see that. It is really settling into my pores. So this is gonna make me look really, I think it might make me look a bit cakey. Annoyingly, I want to put more on to get more coverage, but then I'm gonna look really, really cakey, so. The next thing I have is the My Perfect Color Liquid Concealer. I actually use quite a cheap concealer anyway. I use the Collection one simply because it's brilliant. And that's four pounds. This one's two pounds. And I got this in ivory because they only had ivory and a really, really dark one. Um, so I'm gonna pop this under my eyes. Mm. It's quite liquidy, like it's really thin. Oh, it's thicker once it sits on the skin a while. So again, I'm just popping it where I would normally pop my concealer. And I'm just gonna use my beauty blender again. Just to blend. 
blend it in. This is a lot thinner than the collection one. It doesn't have, it really doesn't have the coverage of the collection one. But it's not that bad. It's really not that bad actually. I'm more impressed with the concealer than I am with the foundation. It actually feels really nice on the skin. It's not like drying at all. It's got a little bit of a glow to it as well. I really like this concealer. I just wish it had a bit more coverage. I am gonna pop a little bit more on because I wanna see how buildable it is as well. So I'm just gonna bring it down. That foundation has really settled into my pores. Now everything I put on top is going to just sink right into them. Let's blend this out. I wish I'd just done my whole face in the concealer instead of bringing the foundation into the mix. I'm really impressed with this concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the setting powder. So they do a banana powder, which I thought was quite good. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this on. This could actually, oh, this could be the moment it goes really, really cakey. So I just pop that over where I've put my concealer just to set underneath the eyes. This is nice. Oh, I like this. This feels really nice. It's going on really nicely. I'm also gonna pop a little bit just along the jawline. Both sides, just to help the contour later on. And I'm gonna pop a little bit here because I go really shiny here. And a teeny tiny whatever's left on my nose. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that on while I do my eyes. I got a eyeshadow palette because I thought it would give me more options. I, I think they did individuals. I got the nudes palette. Actually has, it was four pounds for the whole palette. I mean, come on. Actually has some really, oh, shiny. Some really nice, can you even see that? It's like, I'm gonna take this off. Genius, Kim. Has some really nice colors. It's still shiny, but at least you might be able to see the colors. Quite wintry colours, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a base colour first. Let me get this so I can tell you which colours I'm using. I'm gonna start with Cafe Creme, which is this colour here. I don't know how pigmented these are. Quite pigmented it turns out, awesome. So I'm gonna do that just in my crease and then blend it. That's really nice, it's like a coppery color. Blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna take it again, do it on this eye. So I'm just literally blending along the crease. Nothing too harsh. I really like this. I'm really impressed with it. Well, let's use a few more and see, shall we? But I really like this one. I'm going to use, let's see what that one's called. Beached Blonde, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna pop that on the center of the lid. It's got a little bit of shimmer on it. Mm. This one's not as pigmented. It's cute, but it's not as pigmented, so I have to use quite a bit of it. It's quite nice of that side, maybe I didn't put enough. Can you see? Okay. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just 
fluff my brush up and just brush off the setting powder. I like leaving the setting powder there while I do my eye uh, eyeshadow just for any fallout. I'm now gonna like it just sits on top of the banana powder and then it just brushes away so you don't get any smudging. I'm really impressed with that powder. I'm gonna keep saying it over and over again, I think. The next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move on to my brows. I picked something that's very similar to what I use anyway. So I used, got the All About Brows kit, which is two pounds 15. Should be a powder, a wax, and a highlight. And I got this in shade light medium. So I'm going to use the powder first. So the powder is the medium one. They give you a little brush, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use my one, so that's Body Shop Slanted Brush, which I always use for my brow wax and powder. I'm gonna start with the powder. I'm really scared that it's gonna be really dark. I'm just I'm not gonna be able to see it because I have to use the mirror. I'm just gonna do my baseline. doesn't really help that my brows really need doing at the moment. Do you know what? The powder is really red. It's also not a very easily blendable powder, if you can see. one doesn't look too bad I think because I've kind of learned from the other one that it's really pigmented I mean you really don't need a lot of product that's one good thing about it so this one's actually not looking too bad to be honest I'm just gonna have to really work them. I'm gonna use the wax Is this one here just to set it the wax is actually really nice so I really like the wax portion of the palette next <laughs> I'm gonna contour so like I said they didn't seem to have any kind of, I'm sure they do a contour palette. I'm sure I've seen people with a very similar palette to this. And I just, I couldn't find anything. There wasn't even a space for it, but I couldn't find it. So this is the sleek contour palette. So you get the contour and highlight. I only use the contour side. I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm gonna try and do this one really quickly because it's not a Primark product, so. Shouldn't be part of it. I'm just gonna contour how I normally contour. Okay, and I'm just gonna buff my contour out. I'm going to grab the blusher. I'm going to use the one called Secrecy. These are only one pound fifty. Use this is like a crown brush, I think. And I don't know how pigmented they are, so I'm going to use as little as possible and build up. Oh, I think they're quite pigmented because that. I barely, like I took most of it off. 
Yeah, they're really pigmented actually. Oh, I really like that. I picked up these highlighters. So I've got Pure Glow and Unicorn Glow. Now, I don't normally go for a silvery white highlighter, but it's called Unicorn Glow. That is so adorable. Pure Glow is what I'm gonna go with, although I am gonna use some of Unicorn Glow in the corner of my eyes. These are only two pound. Oh, this Pure Glow Mink Pink was three pounds, but Unicorn Glow was two pounds. So for two pounds, I'm gonna, gonna give myself a bit of Unicorn Glow. So I'm gonna use this really, really sparingly. I'm just gonna get my eyeshadow brush again, because I think this is gonna be really pigmented. Yes, it is. Mm, maybe not. So I'm just gonna pop that just in the corner. Oh! Nope, that was my smoke alarm, but it's okay. It went off once, probably needs a new battery. Okay, it's not as highlight, uh, highlighting pigmented as I thought, but I actually really like that in a highlighter. I hate it when they're like, you have to be so super careful, otherwise you've just turned yourself into a glitter ball situation. So I actually really like that I can use this to build up a nice highlight. And I really like, that is really pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I wanna use it on my entire face, but I'm not going to because that's silly. So this colour is Mink Pink, which isn't ideal because I've been using warm tones. But we will just drop something. We'll go with that. I'm going to use my Body Shop brush. It's a blusher brush, but it's a flat brusher, flat blusher brush. So it's really, really good for highlight. Again, I'm going to be a bit sparing with it. And I'm just going to bring it down. Oh, I'm not sure about this one. This one's quite, it looks like it's got chunks of glitter in. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm gonna have to use it now, but I don't like this one. This is really, this is not highlight, this is glitter. All right, can you see that? It's like actually is. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm gonna have to carry on and use it. This will probably never be used again. Just gonna bring a little tiny bit down because I've now glittered my nose. That is going away. I don't like that at all. Unicorn was so much better. I'm gonna have to just stipple it slightly. Looks quite nice on camera. It's catching the light really well. Maybe once it settles down and the glitter drops, it might be better, but right now, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pop some mascara on again. Oh, I'm really sorry, it's not the Primark one. I really wanted to test the Primark one as well because I love testing mascaras. So I'm using McLaren's waterproof, what do they call it? Intense black. Truly waterproof, it's called. Yes. I got the, oh, that's upside down, hello. The Primark Get Lippy Kits. I basically got it in two different colors. I got peanut butter and pink lemonade. So what I'm gonna do, oh, that's quite dark. So that's peanut butter. And this is, what's the other one called? Pink lemonade. Pink lemonade, yes. That's pink lemonade. These are darker than I thought they were gonna be. They are actually really nice. I'm gonna go with pink lemonade. So I'm gonna use the lip liner. So let me try and do it. I really apologize, my lips are so dry where I've had my cold. Put it over my whole lip to see how 
Do you know what? I will say the pigment is really, really good. I'm really lightly doing it and it's left a really good pigment. And it just broke in my hand. I'm gonna have to go and get a sharpener and test it all. Right. Yes, yeah, so as I was saying, it's not actually that drying. Some lip liners are really drying. Even some of the most expensive ones. I, do you know what, even if I hate the gloss that's about to come, I feel like I want to go and buy all the lip kits. Just for the lip liners. Because it's £3 for the whole kit. I can't find where I put the lip, oh there it is. <laughs> it's £3 for the whole kit and I would pay that more than that for a lip liner anyway. But look, like I actually like the look just with the lip liner. So now I'm gonna use the lip gloss. It says it's a high shine lip gloss. And it seems really thick. When I put it on my fingers, it was really thick. I'm a fan. I'm a definite fan. These feel really nice. That is such a pretty colour. I really like him. That is a thick gloss. So it is a bit sticky because, I mean, glosses are, come on. Let's, let's not, you know, pretend they're something they're not. Glosses are sticky. I am actually pleasantly surprised that I managed to get a, I mean, I would go out in this. I would feel fine in this. Considering, apart from the mascara and the contour, this is all Primark.